Into another edition of the Friday Night Frenzy, Phil Benatti and Luke Gamble here with the with you the rest of the night. And Luke, teams out in our area with some major tests tonight, including the Rugby Panthers. Yeah, no kidding. Rugby welcoming in four wins, middle Middlewalken, a ranked battle and an out of region rivalry that dates back many years, adding another chapter on a Friday night. And that's where we start. Number seven rugby versus number two four wins been walking. Second half here, Lady Indians with a nine point lead. Azura Rainbow drives to the net and gets the layup to fall. Four wins leading by 11. Lady Indians using the teamwork here. Denisha Leaf with the nice pass to Eliana Lawrence under the net. It's the easy bucket. But the Panthers are not going to go down without a fight here. Kendall Hagar drives to the basket, getting the layup to drop rugby down by 10 now. Lady Indians have kept them all, all arm's length away the whole time. Lawrence again lowers the shoulder, gets a two-point basket. Four wins stays undefeated, 53-42. To the boys' side, it's Beulah hosting Hart River. Two teams tied at the top in Region 7. Cougars giving the Miners all they can handle. Caden Kling driving, splits two defenders and finishes to make it a three-point game. But the Miners start to take over. Trapper Skalski going to work. Gotcha, the pump fake finishing like a charm. Miners trying to create some separation before the half. How about Trey Brandt? Five of his 30 points coming within about five seconds of each other. Look at the steal in the basket. Beulah rolls to a 63-48 win. Up the road a little bit. Another Region 7 battle in Hazen as the Bison hosting Kildeer. Cowboys come out firing. It's Redsky Star going up and under. And he gets it to fall for the early Kildeer lead. But the Bison wastes no time at home here. Tyson Wick Looking real quick, driving to the bucket, the bucket with ease for the lead. And the Wick family is not done. Mason, the dish to Talon. Batke sizes up the defender and takes it to the hole for the two. Bison win easily, 81-55. Linton HMB hosting a tough test in 10th ranked LLM. Starting the game, Lobos win the tip. Charlie Bowman under the basket, grabbing a quick two. Lamore just warming up for the night. Halfway through the first period, Lions down by seven. Trace King with the ball, sees his opening, takes it. Three-pointer for Linton. Now in the second, Lobos up by 10. It's Corbin Potts with the long pass to Max Muslin. He charges up the side for another two for Lamore. A healthy lead going into the half, and they would take the win in that one, 61-33. Moving to Class A now, Bismarck Demons back at home hosting Dickinson first half. They just turn a defense into offense, running ahead. It's Alex Dvorak able to dunk it on the other end. Great play by the six foot junior. Midgets lead, but Bismarck continues to play with tempo. Look at George Gillette finding himself wide open in the corner, knocking it down. Bismarck now looking to retake the lead here. Kyler Scott playing well lately. It's a three with a hand in his face. Demons pull away in the second half, 95-82 the win. Quick turnaround for the Lady Demons after a trip to Jamestown last night. The Demons driving here. The kick out to Peyton Gerving has the wide open look. Splashes the three. 46-15. Demons in charge tonight. A little later, Lady Demons moving the ball. Deep pass to Gerving again. Do not leave her open. PG looking a lot like Paul George, but she wouldn't be the only number 23 hitting shots. Sadie Stevenson driving, pulling up. Bounces once, bounces twice. Falls in after some theatrics. If you're wearing 23 tonight, you are making buckets. Bismarck wins at 75-26. So that's the basketball action from tonight. But hey, Luke, we're just getting started now. It's single digits outside, but that doesn't stop us from playing softball highlights and more next. But first, a look at some scores from around the region.